My name is Moon Petri. We have made it to the double digits. It is the 10th of Pantstober. I mentioned yesterday that the villain is a character you might need to explore more fully. And now I'm going to give you a little idea about that. As always, the usual disclaimer, I am not an expert. These are not instructions. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. If you want to have some fun with me, help yourself to my ideas. So a villain that is kind of a cardboard cutout of villainy, a black and white a Disney villain and all or nothing, uh, that might work, you know, in a children's book and by children's book I mean for pretty young kids I think most of the time we really appreciate a villain with some depth I mean my favorite villain is Loki and we could argue that Loki is not even necessarily exactly a villain I love a great character or somebody who does bad things with understandable motivations so my suggestion for today is to explore your plot from your villain's perspective. This might be a helpful way to nail character motivations. So you might even want to take a look at things like the hero's journey or the save the cat plot beats or some other outlining format. I'm not telling you to outline. I'm never going to tell you to outline. Don't worry. You can go through these points in, say, the hero's journey and think of your villain as the hero. What is their goal? What are the obstacles to it? Why does it matter so deeply to them? You can explore this in other ways. Some of the free writing, journal entries, letters, or a scene from some point in their past that I mentioned in yesterday's character video but particularly keep in mind that to the villain they are the hero your protagonist is the antagonist getting in the way of your villainous hero's dastardly plots until next time i am moon petri and since it is now the 10th i will put a playlist of these in the description in case you have missed some days going along and you would like to see what else I've been doing this month.